Hey everybody, how you doing? So we're pulling out all the stops for today's match. The lucky Arkansas Red Razorback hat. Now I'm not a fan of the, the Razorbacks, but I am a fan of this hat. And this hat carried us all the way through the playoffs last year. You might ask, why wear it today? Well, we're in first place with three matches to go. Three points behind us is FC Wacker. And they come to our place to play today. If we win, we're all but guaranteed to pick up a title. If we lose, the whole season devolves into a two-match race to the finish. I hope you'll stick around. It could get crazy. Hey everyone, how are you? Welcome back to Walkabout Europe, the football manager yeah, journeyman save where we can only move between clubs in the game when we've walked that equivalent distance in real life. So three games left, we're up by three points. We have a huge match against the second place team today. I mean, the implications don't get any bigger. Once again, we're in one of these seasons that looks like it could very well come down to the last day of the season. So let's talk a little bit about how we got here. Because when we were last together, we were still kind of toying with first place but still outside of that little realm, outside of that spot. We had that 5-1 game against Amstetten, who interestingly enough, Amstetten has absolutely fallen off the table. Look at the table. It's here. And first half of the season, Amstetten was first place by five points. Second half of the stage, they're in second to last plates, only getting eight points in 12 matches. They've won one, drawn five, and lost six in the second half of the season. So they have completely fallen apart. Part me, maybe due to that match. I'm not really sure. But anyway, I belabor the point. After that, we kind of sputtered against SV Horn to a nil-nil draw, and I was starting to get worried. Our offense wasn't looking very good. Then the next match comes up. We pick up a one-nil victory. But the football gods were shining on us here. It's nil-nil. After halftime, we're in the 59th minute of the match, and this happens. This is their keeper in the red, and our striker, Chewie Munger, in the black. <laughs> I can't see that without laughing, especially with the goalkeeper following. That was the only goal of the match. So we picked up a 1-0 victory. Thank you, football gods. We appreciate it. Then after that, that seemed to actually ignite our team. We lost our right winger, Mark, out to a serious injury, and I thought, oh, darn, we're really in trouble. But the guy we brought in, Akil Anani, has been really good out there. Kind of triggered three, 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 sub three consecutive games where we scored three goals, picked up wins. And nice thing, too, we had that run where we had four away matches and we won three of them. I was kind of concerned about those four away matches. Then we sputtered to a nil-nil draw that we really should have won and then a wild 5-3 match where we picked up a win after being down 3-1 in the first half and 3-2 at halftime to score four unanswered goals to pick it up. So the, the, the kind of the sum of all that is that we won 5 of 7, but FC Wacker has been right on our pace. I mean, every time we win, they win. Every time, it just seems like we're just matching results the whole time. So as we get here, with three games to go and 27 played, We've got 56 points. They have 53. Interestingly enough, they have the least goals allowed in the league. So we have our work cut out for us. And they beat us 1-0 earlier in the year. Their only goal in that match was on a penalty. Now, they don't score a lot, but they've scored 35. That's still pretty good. Good goal differential. We are, however, a little bit more offensively inclined, not quite as sharp defensively. It promises to be a very intriguing match, especially after that 1-0 earlier showdown in the year. But you might be asking when you start talking about points in a season. That's right. We had a competition. Could you guess the total number of points that we were going to get in the season before the season started? And I'm happy to say we have a winner. Here are the final results. Nothing can change this over these last three matches. Our winner is F.M. Greeno, who predicted 43 points. And we have 56 now, so he is the closest, and nobody can get closer to him. So thank you, everybody, for the 10 people that have played. Congratulations to F.M. Greeno. If you have not seen his channel, by the way, he's got a cool hungry save going on and a journeyman where he can only play at stadiums and for clubs that he's seen play or has attended the stadium. I think I got that right. But he's got an awesome channel. I highly encourage you to check him out. And you can go. We may leave this team. I'm still thinking we're going to leave at the end of 
the season, Greeno. So you can kind of hold on to that ticket to nickname a player for whenever you would like to use it. So totally up to you, but congratulations on your victory. So that takes that contest. Let me know if you want to do that again next year, too. It was kind of, I thought it was kind of interesting just to see what kind of things people guess and see how it turned out, too. So we just have a couple more things to touch base on. I did want to mention one thing because it's still kind of, no, it doesn't bother me at all. Bronco Kersnar, the sale. If you've watched the last episode, a bid came in for 44000 for our outstanding right back. Best player on the team by far. He's And, and I did notice now, he, they, we ended up selling him for 44,000 pounds, which is ridiculous. And I did notice, I was just checking, not that I'm fixated on the guy or anything, but his value now is 140000 And just for kicks and giggles, I tried to buy him back. They want $1.5 million for him, which is kind of what I think his actual worth was. So I'm still not bitter about that at all. However, in good news, we did get another job offer, a very tempting job offer. And I thought I maybe would share this with you because it is a good omen for, I think, what might be potential, at least at the end of the season. You know, one of the questions I had was, are we going to get another offer like the one from uh, Winter Tour, Winter is Coming, and stuff like that? Because that was a pretty good offer. Maybe that was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. But after that, shortly after that, we got an offer from this club right here in the top tier of Polish football. They're sitting in eighth place right now, Zaglibe, Zaglibe Lubin. A lot of money would have been a one and a half million transfer budget, 110,000 pounds in wages. They're sitting right now in the top half of the table, which isn't good for them. They want a challenge for the title next year. Big club would have been a great opportunity. Three-star reputation. So if we could get job offers like that in the middle of the season, after the end of the season, we might have an interesting place to go to next year. Pretty excited about that. My thinking is still that we'll finish this season and then move on. I don't think, even if we get promoted, I don't think it's, I want to stay. I'm just not... That the owner thing is just really bugging me. We did ask to go professional one more time to the owner because it pops up every couple months or so, and he wants no part of going professional. So, yeah. Anyway, he's a great guy. I love him. We're we're buddies. So, but yeah, that was a good offer. In the end, I didn't. I decided not to take it because I wanted to finish this season. It would have used up all our miles, and it wished would have pushed us way to the northeast, which would have meant that our next move really could only be into Germany. So that would have been a little bit restrictive, I thought. So I said no, and that really is all I wanted to mention. It is time, action time. Let's jump into our match here for team selection. Just a couple quick though. We're going with what's got us here. Four, one, two, three. Most of the players are the players we've worked with all year. Have kind of brought in recently and stuff like that. Shui Manga is up at striker. He's done pretty well. He's one goal away from the golden boot leader, so he's one behind the leader in the league right now, so that's an interesting side story to watch. Markout, a really good right winger, did get hurt, and I brought in this guy, Akil Anani, who was kind of a backup that we signed in the, the transfer window in the winter, but he loves big matches. He's very consistent, and uh, he's do, done really well on the right right wing to replace Markout, who... Uh, had a knee ligament injury. He's going to be out still for a little bit more, so I'm not sure we're getting back for any of the games left in the season. Solvay, however, has been a big story. Our weak spot really going into the winter break was left wing, attacking left wing. We really didn't have one. And we were struggling to find good production out there. It really kind of was changing things. This guy has been a lightning rod. 12 appearances, 5 goals, 4 assists, 7.51 rating. He's been brilliant out on the left wing for us, just igniting our offense so many times when we needed big goals. So it could be fun to watch him. I'm liking our attacking three right now. Our midfielders have done pretty well. Defenses look pretty solid. We are, I think, all set to go. The only other thing I'd add is that we did have a team meeting last night because this is such a big match, and I downplayed the significance of this because we do have a few players. Both of our center backs, interestingly enough, Luganja and Handel, do not like big matches. So that could be, and I don't really have better options to put in there. So it could be interesting to see how this goes. Let's jump in. I am going to uh, talk to the team, and we'll see you out on the pitch. All right, we are underway, and our greens going from left to right. Wacker is in their whites going right to left. We're starting out balanced to see how it worked. Now, they've only given up against 17 goals all season. And we did not score against them in the first match. So it would be interesting to see how this plays out. A draw works to our advantage, I think. So I it's, I don't want to... Oh, a yellow card already for Kailati. That's not a good sign. I'm going to have to switch his role to de defensive midfielder too because he can't play ball-winning midfielder without an easing off tackles there. So that changes things a little bit early on here. Let's see. Neither team with the shot. They are in a very defensive 4-1-4-1 formation. 
uh, which I we have really struggled against this year too. Uh, this feels ominously bad. Lots of passing. Uh, let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, right outside. He's open. Nice save. Oh, that's a good one. Keep it alive, boys. Ah, uh, they are all over our goal here. What? Yellow card. I was going to say, that almost seemed like for a second there. This ref is card happy. Come on, ref, stop. It's a break here. No highlight out of that, though. Okay. They've only got one shot, but we have none. Let's lean into positive a little bit here. Let's shout. We're going to go in extended highlights, by the way, too. Let's shout encourage. Ooh, we got three red cards already. Dakrit out on the right side. Come on, boys. Come on, ref. Give us a break here. They have none. I, I, I find that highly unlikely to be accurate representation of the foul play. Why are we struggling with this match? 21 minutes in. Now we're starting to get some shots. XG is even. This could be a dry affair considering how few goals they've given up. I'm hopeful that we can get something going here, though. 30 minutes in. I think it's time for a demand more. Demand more. Lou Gonja is freaking out here. He is apprehensive. This is that big match kind of thing. Maybe I shouldn't have demanded more. He's playing at a 6-7, though. It always makes me nervous when I see that, though, and they're apprehensive. It spreads. It's like coronavirus. It just moves through your team. He's a one-man apprehensive army out there by himself. Wow, this just flying along here. Let's get one right before halftime. Now, highlight, please. Ah. Wow. That was a quiet first half. I'll go talk to him. We'll see you for the second half. That was extended highlights, too. All right, second half, here we go. I pointed the finger and told him I was not happy. That seemed to actually motivate everybody. We're a little bit fired up now. Let's see how this goes. We could get one goal to start us off. That's all it would take. Oh, this looks like that long throw position. Zerk. No, nothing happens. Not even the goalkeeper jumping up to catch it. Okay, 48 minutes, 49 minutes. We still, we're, we're getting some shots here. Oh, it's a dangerous spot. Oh, are you kidding me? Another penalty? This is a replay. Oh. Ref, the ref is on the other team. Ah, oh, save it, save it. Oh, right through him. Seriously, this is the same. Look at the ref, he's happy. He's doing his Michael Jackson backwalk there. Went right through our... Ah. Okay, we will change our tactics up here a little bit and get things going. All righty. The only thing I did, I'm going to try pass into space, see if that helps a little bit, and we're going to push up the pitch. So try to move both our defensive line and our forwards up the pitch. Oh, God, not again. Catch it. Well, that was a very confident goalkeeper. 60 minutes in. The penalty is the difference so far. We have had no good chances. Everybody's bummed out. Don't get bummed out, people. Come on. Demand more. Let's go. Get it going here. Ah, uh, we're... Some of us are doing okay. Okay, long throw. There we go. Get our break here. Ah. Uh, Unger picks it up. 63 minutes in. And it's right to their left winger. Finally, they got some with the yellow card. Ref. Let's, let's have a big mistake by them. I feel like there's a turnover right here. Maybe not. He's going to feed it in. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Ah. Oh. This is not the scenario I envisioned here at all. God, we're at home, too. They just walked right through our defense, right through Lugonja, who's on a 6.5, too. Freaking out with the big matches. Huzik's on a 6 point. Our whole team is melting down. We're going to need to make a couple subs here and see if we can stop the contagion from spreading. I'll be right back. All right, we're going attacking. And we are bringing in Pompetti for Husiku, who's on a 6.2. We'll see if that might be able to get something going here. Right side winger is out too. Shimanga is on a 6.2. 20 minutes to go. Let's make another sub, although things are not looking very good right now. I'm going to change it up a little bit more for the last 20 minutes. I mean, we need two goals here. <sighs> All right. We're... Um, 
Uh, let me just show you real quick what we're doing. We're going to a 4-2-3-1. So we took out our defensive midfielder and brought in Cabrera as an attacking midfielder. And so we're going to see if that gets us another body forward. We need to get a goal here quickly. Ah, Shimanga not doing very well, too. We might need to sum him out with 15, five minutes to go. He is completely frustrated and out of it. Let's make our final sub. Put our last chip into the game. Let's go. I'll figure it out, and I'll, I'll let you know what we did here. All right. Bringing in Smoily on it. Attacking forward. He's our last hope here. He loves big matches. Ah. Free kick. Okay. Let's get some. Let's make a show of it anyway. Let's get one here. God, we're doing nothing against him. This is not the way we've played over the past month and a half. So frustrating. That penalty was a killer, wasn't it? Ah. I'll just see what else we might be able to do here other than, like, push everybody forward. No, I don't see what else we can do. We're kind of doing all the things. We've pushed all the buttons and stuff, and we're trying everything here. Unless we have a miracle, I think it's pretty much going to be tied. Uh, another throw in, long throw. This is not the party we had planned for today. This actually, the, the tricky part of this now, too, is that goal differential is now a factor, too, because it was six, and now it's going to be three. Gosh, what a frustrating match this was. Oh, now we look good. We had, like, no highlights. Uh. God, this ref sucks. Don't like this ref. <sighs> that was n not expected. I'm going to throw the water ball. I am far from pleased with that result. Seemed demotivated. Yeah, get over it, lads. Uh, well, okay, so here we are. Suddenly it gets more interesting. Just when I thought if we could pick up a win, we had it sealed and it was done. Now we're dead even on points and the goal differential's down to three. That was a crippling defeat. Gosh, how aggravating. So that begets the question is, what do we do next? We, I think what I'm going to do is play the next match and then come back for the final match. Because, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know. I'll think of something. We'll figure it out. We'll be back on Saturday with the end of the season, the dramatic conclusion here. I hope we can hang on. That was a killer. If you did like this episode, for whatever reason, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, please consider subscribing. We'll see you on Saturday to the end of the season. God, I thought we were going to be having a celebration today, but oh well. If you have ideas, thoughts, let me know. Take care, everybody. Have a great rest of the week, and we'll see you on the weekend. Bye.